I would, you know, on that I, I, I would say that you've got to start from where we're at. Um, and uh, <clears throat> where we're at, as I just mentioned, is uh, of course we're controlled by the bondholders. So one of the immediate movements that has to take place is to disempower the bondholders as much as possible. And, and disempower disempower them uh, in such a way that our future is not foreclosed. Because if we're, he we're heavily indebted, and we, if we have to pay off that debt, as you and Greece are looking at, to pay it off forever, and what, what choices are there about anything? And there's, there's something peculiar about this because the philosophy of capitalism, to take Milton Friedman's famous phrase, is freedom to choose. But well, actually, we've got ourselves into a state of total unfreedom because we've got to pay off our debts. And this is true, uh, for instance, uh, uh, thousands of, of, of students in the United States have debts of around over a trillion dollars. And they've got to spend their lives on that. So I want to kind of deal with that, that problem straight out. If you kind of say to me, well, what kind of society would I, I want to see built? Um, I actually think that, that there's a way of thinking about associated laborers in control of their own means of production, making their own choices uh, as to what to produce and how to produce it, entering into some sort of social compact uh, with other associated producers, coming together to produce infrastructures and I know that on the, some parts of the left there's deep uh, antagonism to state, but if you don't have something like a state, uh, it's very difficult to imagine producing the kinds of infrastructures, uh, transport communications, electric grids, uh, those kinds of things which are going to sustain the kind of lifestyle to, that we have become accustomed to. And I think that you cannot have a socialist project right now that doesn't acknowledge that most people uh, want to live, continue, they want their daily lives to be reproduced rather smoothly with the assets and with the, the advantages they have right now and without, without the sorts of heavy costs uh, they're having to bear. So that's my sort of vision, but that's going to take a long time and we're not going to get anywhere close to it without first disempowering and dispossessing uh, the bondholders.